Okay. Fung An Trang Dong. Fung An Trang. Okay. I've got to write some things about you for my homework. Well? When I see you on TV, everyone just calls you Betty. Do you have another name? Yes, it's <laughs> Betty Fountain. That's F O U N T A I M. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Okay, Fung An. Right. Now I know. But I don't know how old you are. <laughs> you guess. Mm, 43? <laughs> no, 57. But you look so young. Well, I try to eat the right things. Like what? I usually. How old is she from Rome? 57. 57. Okay. Okay, what does she eat, Tram? She eats salad, rice, and fish. Mm. Do you live in a big house near? Okay. We lost Dong. Trang, you can do Dong as well. Okay, Trang, number three. Beach, like all the other actors and singers. No, I have a flat in the city and a little house in a village. Oh. Mm, in a little house in a village. Yes, okay. Fung An, in winter she goes skiing, in summer... What do you do in your holidays? We love sports. So in winter, we go skiing. And in the summer, we go climbing. Who do you... It's climbing. Yes, climbing. Okay, Dong, who does she go climbing with? You go with? I always go on holiday with my husband. With her? Dong? Meet her. With her husband. Okay. Her. Husband. Husband. Okay. Alex's uncle loves taking photos with his new camera. Where did he take each photo? Okay, let me write this quickly. Okay. 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 Fung An, you can do the example. Let's listen. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Alex's uncle loves taking photos with his new camera. Where did he take each photo? Look at these, Alex. There's some photos that I took with my new camera. Oh, they look great. You are clever. <laughs> I took this photo of these flowers when we were having a picnic by the lake. We walked there on Sunday. We were on holiday there. Fung An. 
flowers at the lake. Not to see the lake. Yeah. Try again. Okay. Okay. Uh, trying number one. Can you see the letter C? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Where did you take this one? One of the two men. Well, I met them last week. I went with them to visit an old village in the mountains. This is a photo of them back at our hotel in the city. They were on their balcony there. Yay, we're very good. Okay, Dong. Let's cross this one and this one. And look at this lovely swan, Alex. It's great. Your aunt and I were sitting by the river in town when I took this photo. It was very hot and sunny that day. We had lunch there. I enjoyed that day. River. So one is river. Which letter is river? Let the O. Yes. Okay. Uh, from on. I love this one. Why? Well, I'll tell you the story about this one. We were walking over a bridge on Thursday when suddenly this parrot shouted out, Hello! I quickly took a picture of it before it flew back into the trees. It had a very long tail. Wow, how exciting. Walking over a bridge. Hung on, walking over a bridge. We saw a parrot. Okay, good. Turn. You'll like this one too. All the others wanted to stay on the beach at the weekend, but I wanted to do something more interesting. I found a dark cave there and went inside. There were lots of bats there. Here's the photo that I took of them. Weren't you afraid? No. Okay, good. Dong, last one. And what about this one? I saw these strange insects on the rocks near a waterfall. Perhaps they liked the lovely cold water. It was another very hot day. Is I don't know that what kind they are. Do you? Ed, Ed, the Ed. But it's a great photo. Okay. They all are. Thanks, Alex. Good. Now listen. Okay. A, B, or C. Tennis with Sue after school today. But school finished at half past three. That was a long tennis game. Well, we played until half past five. And then we went to Sue's house. We were very thirsty. And her mum gave us some lemonade. All right. But why didn't you phone us? Sorry, Dad. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. Drang number one. One. Which is Sarah's favourite lesson? 
We had my favourite lesson today. What? Art? No, that's not my favourite. Well, it was. Oh, I liked art when I was younger. But I prefer science subjects now. And geography. I love learning all about the world. That's the best subject. When I was younger, I liked art. Now I like geography. That's the best subject. Okay, very good. Dong number two. Two, which girl is Sally? There's a new girl in my class, Dad. Her name's Sally. Is she nice? Very nice. And she's got lovely long hair. Well, your short hair is lovely too, Sarah. Yes, but Sally's hair is curly and mine's all straight. Let's see. Yay. Okay, going on number three. Three. Which team is Sarah in? Something excellent happened today. What? I'm going to be in a big sports competition. It's for lots of schools. Great. Which sports? Well, some of my friends are going to be in races or play volleyball. But I'm in the swimming team. I'm in I'm in the swimming team. Okay. Turn number four. Four. What did Sarah have for lunch? What did you have for lunch today? Burgers and french fries. Did you have any salad with that? Or fruit? No, I didn't. Sarah, you should always... Dad, stop, please. Good. Dong number five. Five. What is Sarah going to do next? Well, what are you going to do now, Sarah? Are you hungry? No, I'm not. Can I have supper later? Okay. Are you going to do your homework now? Did your teacher give you some today? Yes, she did. She gave us some geography and maths. Okay. Well, you should do it now, I think. Oh, Dad, it's so hot this evening. I must have a shower first. I'll do my homework after that. Let us see. No. Fung An, why are you doing this? It's Dong's turn and it's not C. I'm going to have a shower first. Let the eye. Okay. Okay, we're almost done. When we finish this, then we finish for today. Boy, he's riding a bicycle. Colour his hat. What colour shall I do it? Is purple okay? Yes, that's fine. Fung An, number one for you. Can you see the boy's purple hat? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write and draw. One. Can you see the woman in the picture? Yes, she's crossing the street. That's right. Can you colour her suitcase, please? Can I colour it red? I prefer brown. Oh, all right then. Do you have brown for on?
you have brown? You can use red. Oh, yes, there we go. We've got brown. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, trying number two. Two. Do you want to color something else? Yes, but can I choose the color this time? All right. Let's color something on the ambulance. Can I color its light? It's on the top of the ambulance. That will be good. What color are you going to choose? Blue. Good. Dong number three. Three. Would you like to write something now? Oh, is it difficult? No, it's very easy. Can you see the shop? The one that sells books? Yes. Can you write books on the front? Okay, that is easy. Yeah, good. Okay, books. Fung on number four. Four. What next? Okay, this time, can you color something that the boy is wearing? His trousers? No, that will take too long. His scarf? Yes, okay. Color it green. Okay, uh, Dong. Five. Last one now. Can you draw well? I'll try. Can you draw an umbrella? Draw it in the woman's hand. Okay. And colour it yellow. Yes, I can do that. Okay, very good. Well done, you guys. Okay. Now listen to part oh, again. We are finished. We are finished for today. Well done, everybody. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, teachers. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.